Mike Bond here at American Top Team with Tiago Moises, who fights Islam Makachev, July 17th, man. A big fight for you. I don't think many people saw this coming. Were you surprised when they offered this fight to you? Yes, I was very surprised. I didn't expect to fight Islam right now. You know, uh, I was expecting him to fight a, uh, a top five, a top four guy, but I'm really happy with the opportunity and uh, I'm trying really hard. So I'm going to grab this opportunity with everything that I got. Yeah, so what did they say to you when they came to the fight? Was it like, you know, we, I think a lot of people expected him to fight a top ranked guy. Were they saying no one was available and they thought you were the next best option or how did it really come about? You know, uh, I don't really know, but uh, what I heard is that anybody wanted to fight, nobody wanted to fight him, you know, so he, he didn't have an opponent. So they offered it to me and uh, I didn't think twice, you know, I said yes right away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, the big opportunity for you and everything, right? Like, is this something that you, you've been working towards? I mean, a great three-fight winning streak. All your wins have been very good names and everything. So for you, this is something you were wanting, right? Like a big name, a guy people are high on. Yes, uh, I want a big name right now. You know, uh, I think this is the right time for me because I'm coming for, from three, uh, three wins streak, you know, uh, just three good names, three good guys, you know. So I think that this step up for me is, uh, is the right time. Yeah, and everyone says you know, he's the next big thing, the next Habib and all this kind of stuff. Do you see him as, as good as maybe some people talk about when you watch his fights? Does he deserve all the praise he gets? Yeah, I think he deserves all the hype. You know, he's really good. He's well-rounded, uh, great wrestling, great jiu-jitsu, uh, very strong opponent, good cardio. So, I, I think he deserves all the hype. But uh, I'm ready to fight him. You know, I'm well-rounded as well. I'm good everywhere. So, I think it's going to be a great fight. Yeah, and unlike Habib, though, he has lost before. We've seen him lose. Uh, I know it was a long time ago, a different fight and everything, but when you look at him, I'm sure you see a beatable fighter and things you can do, right, that uh, we've seen before. Yeah, of course. Uh, I see him like as a beatable fighter, uh, beatable, beatable fighter you know, huh? he has two arms, two legs, you know, and uh, he's a great fighter, but uh, he's him also. He has a lot of holes in his games. Not a lot of holes in his game, but uh, he has a couple holes in his games, and uh, I want to explore that, you know. So beating him, what do you think that does for your career? It would be four in a row, uh, all names, people know. Does that put you, you know, in the top ten and maybe give you that fight against a top-ranked opponent that people are wanting to see him in? After beating him, you know, I, I think I'm going to be close, you know, to the mix uh, to fight for the title, you know, a couple more fights. And, uh, yeah, just everybody's talking about him. Ah, oh, he's going to fight for the title, no, but uh, he needs to fight me next, you know, and... Uh, I'm not easy fight also, you know, as people think. So it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna surprise a lot of people. Yeah, and is there something for you, do you feel like you've turned a corner in terms of your skills, your confidence? Because your start of your UFC career, you know, is a couple wins, couple losses, but you've gone on a great run now. Has something changed that's allowed these results? Yeah, I think uh, getting more ma mature, you know, more experienced inside the UFC cage, you know, uh, and uh, I see like that, I, I, my debut was against Benil Darius. We have be, we have seen like what he is uh, capable of doing now. You know, he's number three of the world. He's like uh, finish everyone. You know, uh, after after my fight, he finished everybody. TKO submission. Uh, I was the only fight that he got uh, a win by by decision, and now Tony Ferguson. So was a great opponent. I got the fight like a couple weeks notice, and uh, no excuse. You no, know, he's a great fighter, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I think just getting more used to the UFC, you know, getting more comfortable, you know, and uh, training here at ATT, I get better every day, you know, so great training partners, great coaches, and uh, I think that is, is paying off, you know. And for you, I mean, this is such a big opportunity for your career. Do you have to maybe not overthink it, like what this fight really means? Do you look at it as just another fight, or do you kind of uh, allow that to drive you, knowing that what a win here could do for your career? You know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, all those things really matters if I win this fight. So all that I'm focused on is uh, win this fight, you know, uh, focus on my skills, uh, my strength, you know, and uh, of course the strategy, you know, his skills also, his, his weakness. Uh, yeah, training, uh, just focus on winning this fight, you know. For sure. yeah. And when you think about it, do you see yourself stopping him? Do you see it maybe going all three rounds and you beating him by decision? What do you kind of envision for how the fight plays out? I can see this uh, both ways, you know, I can see me stopping him uh, on the feet or on the ground. I have a lot of submissions also and uh, or by decision as well because uh, he's a great fighter, you know, very resilient and then uh, this fight can go both ways or I, I see me finishing him or winning by decision.
for sure. And the lightweight division, very interesting right now. I mean, we just crowned a new champion in Charles Oliveira. We have your teammate, Dustin Poirier, fighting Conor McGregor a week before your fight and everything. Um, do you see this division as, you know, after Habib left, really thriving and a, a lot of good things happening? Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, of course, there is a lot of good fighters in this division. And uh, I think it's very interesting, interesting now. So, uh, yeah, I think... Charles uh, is a great champion, you know, but there is my teammate Dustin also. I think uh, Dustin is going to be, beat Connor. Then I, I think don't, uh, Dustin has all the tools also to beat Charles. Definitely, man. Well, and then you'll win your fight and then you'll be right in the mix, right? So good things coming for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, after I win my fight, I, I think I'm going to be uh, right there. I, I'm going to be close, you know, uh, fighting all big names, you know. After beating him, uh, I think I'm going to I'm gonna not just deserve it, but earn it also, you know. For sure, doing it the hard way, man. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm glad to see you got this opportunity. I know you've been working hard in the gym here for a lot of years. So I'm uh, really happy to see you got this fight and best of luck. I appreciate you. Thank you.